Hello and welcome back. My name is Josh. This is definitely not financial advice. Today's video, we're going to talk all about a brand new Ethereum NFT project called Shadow Descendants. Now, Shadow Descendants is a huge new project that is actually going to give a ton of their profits to charity, and they have a lot of potential on my eyes. Now, now that the crypto market has mostly recovered, it seems like a lot of these new NFT projects are doing very well. There's a lot of new names in the top 10 for OpenSea in particular, so I I think that Shadow Descendants has a very good shot of making some serious headlines. So let's go ahead and take a look at Shadow Descendants and see what they're all about. Firstly, taking a look at their Twitter, they already have over 6,000 followers before launch. So this is a very good sign and they are trying to help restore the well-being for people around the world. This is very interesting. Now, this is a 10,000 collection. So that is a big number to sell out. But these guys have some serious momentum and they're doing a very good job so far with marketing. They constantly are doing updates. I mean, this tweet was only 23 minutes ago. So they have a very you know good base for getting all their information across as well as their discord itself is on fire right now if you hop in the chat is flowing and that usually is a very good sign heading over to their website here is shadow descendants and they have a good little slogan here if they stand behind you protect them if they stand beside you respect them and if they stand against you defeat them so these guys are all about you know that vibe and they are also giving back just so much to charity on top of the fact that the art itself is a very good design I really like how every one is so different they are having over 350 unique attributes which is absolutely insane most collections only have a hundred or 150 they have over 350 unique attributes which just makes this project that much more dynamic you can see some of the concepts here and they are definitely different from every other project that you see pop up on OpenSea. they're usually always apes or something like that you know a character and these guys are definitely kind of breaking the trend one of the reasons why I am so bullish on this project, aside from the fact that their Twitter presence is there and they are doing a great job with marketing, they also have a team of seven different members. So there is a ton of different bodies to help you know, divvy up the workload as well as moderate their Discord. For the roadmap ahead, they have already finished phase one, and that is the development of the product or the collection itself. Phase two is the launch. No whitelist needed. Mint will be live. And at phase three, at 25%, the charity already begins. They will be donating to two different charities that will be building four freshwater wells that will serve the community for up to 30 years. For phase four, when they're at 50% mint, they will be donating to the same charity, but this time it's going to be to house 12 different children who have been abandoned and put them into loving homes. So again, this is one of those projects, aside from the fact that getting into it at launch, you're gonna be able to get your mint and potentially see you know, that floor price increase. Well, there's also the added benefit of knowing that a large percentage of those proceeds are going to help a charity. For phases five and six, it's all about building more homes. For phase five, it is at 75% mint. They are going to be building a home to house 25 children. And then at phase six, at 100% mint, they are going to build a home that houses 50 different children. Definitely very good stuff. Then again, at phase seven, when mint is complete, they're gonna be doing a giveaway of two ETH. That is somewhere around the ballpark of $5,500. That is a massive giveaway, as well as they'll be giving away NFTs to their community through different giveaways, contests, etc. So that is very, very fun stuff. And then phase eight, community holders that will be rewarded because they are going to be announcing more utilities in the near future. Overall, I think that Shadow Descendants shows an amazing amount of potential. They have a strong foundation, a solid team, great artwork, as well as a strong marketing presence. So I am bullish. Now keep in mind, as always, this video is not financial advice. So always do your own research because I'm not a financial advisor. Now definitely check out all their links that I'll post below. And until next time, bye.